want to also discuss the terms that we would use uh, frequently. You have the Hebrews, Hebrews, and Jews. Is there a difference? Now, it goes back to what I was saying before. Let's look at Hebrew from an etymological point of view. Well, we can look at it from a historical point of view or a biblical point of view, just do it like this. That was a son of Noah. You can say a descendant of Noah. His name was called um, Ebor, Eber, Eber. And I say it like this because the pronunciation varies. It's just like when you're from the north or the east or the south or the west, you start, you speak a certain dialect, you know, as if we go to the, the state or the colony of St. Louis, they, instead of saying here, as we would say, or as it was said down south or in the west, down south meaning Georgia or Alabama, they say, hur, hur. supposedly speaking about the same thing, right? So there's a son called Ebor or Ebor. And then you look at that word and you take the E away and you put the, the A there. And what do you get? Abba. Abba. All right. Now, you do a homogesis or a homonym on that word and you just mix it up and mix it around. What did you get? Bara. Bara means what would be considered bless or bliss. All right. So when you hear the word bless, that means basically you you give something to someone or um, you give normally thanks or praise to someone. If you move that word around, you get Arab or Arab or Arab. It gets you to thinking. Arab, Arabian, Abba, which is modern day spoken as Ivri or Hebrew. It sounds like they're one and the same to me. Doesn't sound like there are two different people. It doesn't sound like there are one group of people at that. But it sounds like a group of people. A group of people in the vocabulary sense that would be considered to be a people from the other side. Well, the other side is generic. It doesn't really explain much because the other side could be from across the street or across the river or across the ocean. But it just says the people from the other side. Another definition says the people from beyond. So that means you really don't know where they come from. You just know that they're not from here, from this location in particular. They're from somewhere else. And when you get the word Arab, or what we consider Arab, that is called a wanderer or a nomad, because that's what a nomad does. They wander. They wander around and they go to and fro. They're not stationary only for ever only for a short time or for a season, but they're not always there forever. So they're always moving about. So a wanderer or someone who's from beyond or someone who's from the other side, they're moving to a set location or a set territory for a purpose. And then once that purpose is fulfilled, they are moving on. Now, what could that purpose be? Well, the purpose could be for the purpose of somebody else. Somebody sent them there. That could have been captivity, per se. Someone could have led them there through captivity. Or they could have gone to a certain location for to cultivate the land, you know, for their own purpose or the purpose of their people, and then move about or to plant. So we have to look at it from these perspectives. Is it this or is it that? Well, what I can say concerning the so-called 
black man, if using it from a de facto term, which we're not that, we are Moors, we have always been moving about across the oceans, across the waters, across the land, the seven seas, across the air, and before they had airplanes in modern times, because airplanes flying in the sky are, that has always happened. It has always happened from the, the time of times, <laughs> or beyond times. But our people have lost the conscience of who they are, therefore operating on a lower vibration. And what we're doing is returning. We're returning. We're ascending, meaning that we're returning to the essence of who we are. So then we have to ask ourselves, well, if these wars are going on and they're meteorized, put into media, and they're getting people blindsided to go to support one group and not support another group, then people are not focusing on themselves because this is the perfect opportunity if you don't know who you are. And if you've been hearing this before about who you are, to dig deep, to say, hmm, why is it every time there's a war between Israel or Palestine or Ukraine or Russia, some kind of conflict, why is it that it's put in popular media? But when it comes to our own people and the many things that is going on between us, except for police brutality or somebody getting, you know, killed. Why does it stop there? Why doesn't go any further? Why is anyone stepping up to say, hey, you know what? All these things are happening to you because you know what? You are the, you are the ones. So it's a, a thought-provoking situation, you know, to get people to understand. Now, I'm not going to tell people who they are. Because we've been telling them forever and we've been telling them, we've been telling them. But now is the time for people to dig deep to find out who they are themselves. And that's the that's that's the deal. That's great. Very insightful. Very insightful. Thank you for that.